As hospitals continue treating patients with COVID-19, there's been a lot of attention on available beds in intensive care units. The latest data from the state shows nearly three out of every four ICU beds in Duval County are in use and not available. News for Jack's reporter Joe McLean is look, joining us tonight and looking into this. And Joe, I know you just looked at the very latest hospital information on ICU beds. Right, and uh, these numbers are coming from the Agency for Healthcare Administration. They uh, pull these numbers together, and these were collected in just the last hour. Uh, take a look, Duval at 26%. Now, mind you, these are this is the percentage of how many ICU beds are currently available. So only 26% in Duval. In Clay, they're showing 24% are available. St. John's, about half the beds are, uh, are uh, uh, available right now. And in Nassau, only a quarter of them statewide. The number of available ICU space is 23%. Uh, uh, now, hospital officials, they tell me uh, they're prepared for a variety of different scenarios should these beds need to suddenly fill up. Amid a surge of coronavirus cases in Duval County and across the state, News for Jacks tracked current available ICU capacity and found that only about a quarter of ICU space was available as of earlier today countywide, with no space available at UF Health in Jacksonville. That hospital's infection prevention director told me today that the ICU numbers change constantly. In terms of how many we have at any given time in our hospital or in others, uh, can be variable by hour. So what happens when those numbers get captured is it's a point in time. Nielsen also said it's not that uncommon for hospitals, including level one trauma centers like UF Health, to have most ICU beds full. We run probably on average about 70% uh, ICU occupied anyway. During the winter, most hospitals are running closer to 80-85% ICU occupancy, so um, the numbers can fluctuate quite a bit. Nielsen said hospitals have plans in place for potential surge situations, including a rapid increase of COVID-19 cases. Should something like that happen, hospital officials can transform other parts of the hospital to be able to provide ICU-level care effectively expanding the hospital's total intensive care capacity. We don't want the general public to think that because we might be at 72 or 75 or 80 percent occupancy, we don't want them to think don't come to the hospital. You should still come to the hospital and we still have the availability to take care of you. Now, hospital officials also tell me they plan ahead for any kind of large scale event where a bunch of people come to the city and potentially they might need more space. They did it for uh, the Super Bowl years ago, and I'm told they're having conversations ahead of the RNC coming to Jacksonville in August. Reporting live, Joe McLean, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Joe. Our coverage continues right now on newsforjax.com. That's where you can find a graphic showing the day by day cases in Duval County and throughout Florida. Just look inside the story on the home page.